All right, what's going on, y'all? I'm just over eight weeks out. I'm gonna be eight weeks out this Saturday. It's Thursday right now. So today we're going through a pretty big back day. Um, so I'm gonna take y'all through our back day today. Um, we've got Quincy, who y'all saw last video. He's six weeks out on Saturday from Tampa Pro. Um, and then he'll also be doing Texas Pro in eight weeks. Um, I've got Josh, he's one of my best friends. Um, he's also another one of uh, the coaches that works at Muscle Building Method. And um, they've got Alexa, that's actually my coach. Um, so she'll probably be talking to y'all today too, a little bit about uh, how prep's going and all of that. But right now we've got some lat focused cable rows. Um, we've just got three straight sets on this, no um, intensity extenders, anything like that. Um, the rep range is gonna be actually 12 to 15 on these. Um, and this is kind of really getting us moved into the big stuff uh, for today's workout that we'll move into. <coughs> So now we're on to our uh, second movement. We're doing bent over barbell rows. I do these more in the style of like Yates rows um, since I'm pulling some pretty heavy weight. I don't like to be bent um, pretty far over like you would do if you're doing like a pin lay row or something like that. Um, so we do uh, Yates rows, which are a little bit more upright. Um, but these have uh, been a staple in my back routine for literally years. Um, and I don't plan on pulling these out. Um, this is definitely one thing that I've attributed to building my back. Um, so. We've got a heavy top set, then we're gonna do a back off set, and then on our third set, we're gonna do a drop set. Um, so these get pretty nasty, um, but I'm gonna get into uh, my top set here. Come on. Come on. Good. Yes. Come on, tap it. Good, come on. Yes, come you on. can. Good. Good. Let's go. More. More. Come on. Good, yes. come on. Yep. Keep that control. Come on. There yep. you go. Um, Hard to push. I was like in the first like six minutes and it was one of those times where it just it felt like I'd already been on there for 30 minutes. Yeah. Legs felt like concrete. Come on. Good. That's easy. Come on. Come on, legs. Good. Come on. Good. Come on. You know, when the cardio gets bad like that, though, um, this morning it made me mad. And so like, I know, I know what and you, it makes you like push harder. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, especially when you. I haven't felt really bad CNS fatigue at all though. That's good. Yeah. I think doing bike That's is really a massive good. help. The bike is, yeah. Yeah. My legs feel it, but I mean, they're gonna feel it in anyway doing cardio, so. If your legs didn't feel yeah. like it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, so uh, um, the camera cut off. We ran out of memory on the memory card, so I had to delete it. So. I just hit my third set, which was the drop set. Josh is getting ready to go into his right now. Um, really, it's just a single drop here. So go all out to failure in the rep range, so eight to 12, um, and then immediately drop down a single time. Um, I went from 275 down to 225 and go to failure with that. Um, after this, we're gonna move on to 
Low row, that'll be our uh, third movement. Um, but Josh is going to hit it right now. Good. There you go. Yes. Good. Come on. Yes. Good. Come on. Easy. Come on. If you can. Good. You got more. Come on. Come on. Still moving. Still moving. Good. Yes. There you go. Good. <laughs> My OCD, the way my OCD is set up. <laughs> Alright, you got it. Good. Yes. Good. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on. Not done. Good. All right, so now we've got uh, three sets of low row. Um, we've got just the first set's a set of eight, uh, 10 to 12, second set's a set of 10 to 12, um, and then third set is going to be a drop set. So another intensity extender on this one. Um, this is a hell of a back workout today, um, and we're only pretty much halfway through it after these. Um, so you're gonna get into these. Um, keep in mind that at the end of this, I'm gonna kind of give you all a lowdown on how prep's going and all that. Um, but right now, I'm going to get into this. Good. All right, so right here we've got three sets of lat pull down. Um, I believe these are all just straight sets. So um, reference is going to be 10 to 12. Um, with these, it, it's just like everything else we're doing. We're really, really focusing on the execution part of that. So that's really increasing time with tension with the slow negatives, um, really filling out the full stretch and the contracting at the top of the movement. Um, but we're going to get into lat pull downs, and then after this, we've got another round. All right. Get into yeah, it. Solid. So now we've got uh, high row. So here we've got another three sets. This is just three straight sets. Rep range is 10 to 12, works exactly the same way. So you guys have been seeing with all my workouts, if you haven't been following for the last few years, I don't pyramid up and weight and down in reps like most people. Um, I build up to my top set with um, warm up sets and then come down. So I've got a top set, back off set, and then um, a third back off set. Um, so we've got this. 
This I'm really trying to target the whole upper back musculature, so you'll see the way I'm targeting up here, but I'm really trying to get my elbows driving up, keeping it in line with the whole upper back. Um, we're gonna nail these three sets and then finish off this workout with something really cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, it's always fun. I was doing 445, but I'm backing off from that today. I'm fucking happy. Yeah. I was telling Josh, it's like I can still pull the weight, but like I'm not able to stabilize it for that long. Like, like even on like RDL. Oh my god, one more. No way, you've lost 50 pounds and you're not able to stabilize it that well? That's crazy, dude. All right. Let's go. Come on. Good. 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 Yes, come on. Yep. Good, come on. Yes, you can. Easy. Good. Come on. Easy. Come on. Good, come on. Uh. Elbows up. There it is. Come on. Come on. More. Uh. Yep. Control it. Uh. Yes. Uh. Good. Uh. Yes. That's a long ass arm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so real quick too, another thing I just thought of. So I get asked quite often by um, new guys starting the gym, uh, people just wanting to, what one of my biggest tips is, and that's having a logbook. Um, so I've been doing this since uh, my college days. I've got at least 10 of these back at the house. Um, essentially all I do is I log the movement, I log the warm-up sets, and then I'm logging how many reps with the working weight um, and then what my rep team was. So then I know next we're gonna come in and I'm hitting the same exact workout what I'm trying to be. If you're trying to progressive overload, which if you're trying to get bigger, that's your main tool, progressive overload, um, you need to be using a logbook. Um, just trying to remember off the top of your head, or even I found people that use the notes in their, um, their phone or something like that. It's just harder to look back than the old school pen and paper. Um, so my biggest, Piece of advice for the gym for progressive overload to start logging every single lift you do. Good, come on. Good. Good. Come on. Good, come on. Good. Come on, pull. Good. You got more, come on, pull. Pull. Yes, you can. There it is, three, four, come on. Good. Good. Good! Come on, come on! Three more. You got it? Come on! Good! Come on! Come on! Come on! It's still moving. Oh! Yes! Oh, God! Yeah, you can see you like. Fuck. The back of his neck is fucking pumped all the way up to you. Yeah, I mean, he kept going. <laughs> <laughs> Good set, dude. Well, I said three more, and then she said it's still moving. It was still moving. I was like, Braden's moving it, but I'll move it too. All right, <laughs> <laughs> do you still have your set? Huh? Do you still have yours, or are we good? I'm good. I didn't mind. All right, deadlift. Fuck oh, yeah. All right, so now we've got uh, two working sets on deadlift. So. We'll do one or two warm-ups, and then um, two working sets, eight to 12. I've got the option on back day of whether I do deadlifts or rack pulls, depending on how my lower back and CNS is feeling, but um, literally every single workout except last week's, I've just been opting for deadlifts. So um, we're gonna rock with those today. Um, it should be good. I'm gonna pull the weight a little bit. I've been doing 445, 411, 12-ish. 
but starting to fill it this week. So we're gonna pull down a little bit, but we'll get into it. Good. Ah. Ah. Right, come on, come on. Ah. Yes. Ah. Good. Come on. Ah. Yes. Ah. More. More. Yeah. Enough is enough. It's like we don't even know you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you good? It's been going. All right, awesome. <laughs> All right so we just wrapped up the workout. Um, the, the camera battery actually died, so we're filming on the phone now. Um, all you missed was when we got done with those two deadlift sets, we did extra credit and knocked out two sets of shrugs. Um, so I thought right now we just kind of give you all an update on where prep is, what's changed in the last couple weeks. Um, I don't remember where calories were at two weeks ago. Um, but right now they're sitting somewhere about 2,600 on training days and then um, 2,000 rest. Uh, weight this morning was 210.8, so it's coming down. Um, we've been dropping, what, like three to four pounds every week? So it's, it's been coming down um, really, really good. Um, honestly, this prep has been as smooth uh, as we could want it to be. Um, we've had literally no hiccups. Um, this week, I mean, with where, uh, you know, calories are, and cardio's at 55 minutes still, um, you know, I am feeling it energy wise, but um, mood is still great. Um, so overall, this prep is by far the smoothest prep um, I've ever done. We've definitely done some things differently than I've done in previous preps. Um, you know, I've talked to y'all before about how my nationals run, um, I ran a lot of um, anti-estrogens, I ran a lot of Arimidex. Um, so I bottomed out my estrogen early on in prep, which made prep that much harder. Um, uh, we pulled cal uh, calories basically from, or carbs from every meal, um, whereas in this prep we've kept them um, all around training. Um, that's been a huge difference. So um, there's been a lot of different things we've been doing differently uh, that's made this prep go a lot smoother. And uh, kept some in the morning to give you a little bit of energy right after you yeah. kill yourself with fasting. Yeah, so and that's how I've been doing it too. So um, right now cardio is at 55 minutes still. So on training days, I'm knocking it all out um, fasted. On rest days, I've been doing 40 minutes in the morning and then splitting up to 15 minutes in the evening. Um, I believe with the next uh, cardio bump, um, we're gonna have morning and evening uh, cardio prescribed. So um, that's coming. But overall, you know, this prep is rocking. Uh, the other big update, if y'all haven't seen, I didn't actually lose any weight when I shaved off the beard. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but uh, we're rocking the stash for on stage. So Did you tell classic. him how that came about? He was, that you just we were on a call him? one day and he was like, you know, a lot of classic dudes just have mustaches. So like, should I do a mustache? And the next day, no, it was, was, it was, it was, it was like, like an hour later. Oh, I know, but like the next day that we saw you, there was no beard. Yeah, <laughs> I knew it was coming. It is hot here in Texas anyway, so. Yeah, do you know just your upper lip was hot? Um, it's still so hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, other than that, um, no other big updates. Um, oh, other thing, so as y'all know, I'm a coach for um, the Muscle Builder Method. These are the other two coaches, the head coaches. Um, we're doing a contest giveaway. So um, from now through the 26th, um, we're giving away uh, someone gets a free three months of coaching um, with myself. So you literally get everything. You get diet, training, supplementation, weekly check-ins with myself, plus you'll get access to all the team resources, weekly live calls, all that. So um, this is a really, really big opportunity. I'm gonna drop the link for that down in the description box below. Um, but right now with my coaching, I'm not taking on um, that many more clients. So. Um, if you are interested on getting on working with me uh, for at least the next few months, um, this is a really, really uh, big opportunity for you to do that. Um, like I said, you're going to win um, three months completely paid for by the Muscle Building Method. Um, so um, I'm going to leave that link down below. All you have to do is share your story on um, why you want to work with me uh, with coaching, why you deserve coaching, all of that. Um, and I'll be going through that um, in the next few days. Um, but and share, share, share your passion in there. Like, yeah, be real. Yeah. Share, be vulnerable, open up, share what's really important to you and why working with Braden would be an awesome opportunity for you. Braden's deep in prep right now. He's got a real strong reason for why he's doing this. So we want to know yours. 
Yeah. Yep. And we'll all be going through the applications too. So we'll be we'll be uh, reading all the stories, all of that. Um, so definitely the strong why. Um, but I'm excited to work with y'all. Um, so like I said, we're a little over eight weeks out. I do um, have a question for you. Yeah. In his last video, he said he wanted his coach to push him harder. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel pushed? I feel pushed, but I can take more. <laughs> I like that answer. It's always a little part that was. Y'all know me. I, I like the suffer mode. So I was telling him this morning. I got on the bike and I was like six minutes into it and it felt like hell this morning. Um, but the legs were feeling like concrete, all that, and it pissed me off to where it made me push more. So I don't know if it's a healthy mindset or not. <laughs> it works. It's, 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 it's definitely a high achiever athlete mindset. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting it done. So a um, little over eight weeks out for Texas and then 13 weeks out for San Antonio. So we're we're rocking um, and everything's going smooth. So I'll keep you guys posted. If you want more day-to-day -day updates, definitely be um, keeping up to date on Instagram. Um, I'm dropping stories and, and weekly check-ins, all of that. Um, but uh, definitely be on the lookout for the next video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button down below. Make sure to hit subscribe. Be happy, be positive, be powerful. Have a great rest of your day.